Okay. Hey guys, and welcome to That LP Show. The name of the game is Donkey Kong 64, a 3D platformer developed by Rare and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo 64 in the year 1999. Get comfortable, because this is going to be a 101% run of this game, a game which in 2008 was named by the Guinness Book of World Records for having the most collectibles in a video game. Alright, so before starting this adventure, we're going to tinker with a few options. There is a widescreen option for this game, but it doesn't affect cutscenes, so we're just going to stick with the normal 4 to 3 aspect ratio for this Let's Play. And I highly recommend that you change the camera to follow. It will help you immensely for some parts of the game. The mystery menu, I'll go over when it's pertinent, as well as multiplayer. I might show that off and sound, that's pretty much what you think it's going to be. Alright, so I have been very busy. As you can see, I already have three completed files. So I've played through the game a bit, so it looks like I need to delete one. I'll go I'll go ahead and delete game one since I don't know, it has the longest time, so maybe I can improve upon that in this let's play.
I want you to do everything in your power to keep Donkey Kong distracted. Steal that hoard of golden bananas he treasures so much, and take care of his pathetic friend. This time there can be no mistakes. Oh, Your Excellency, we've already taken care of business. <laughs> I hope for your sake you're right this time. No. While you'll be busy looking for your precious golden banana, leave them friends. I'll be preparing my visit to the Earth Surprise. Voice acting on the Nintendo 64 was not great. Would it have killed you guys to put some subtitles in that cutscene? Like this. DK, DK, come quickly. They're gone. They're all gone. Well, looks like it happened again. Someone made off with Donkey Kong's bananas again, didn't they? Anyway, this is DK's house. Not much to do here, except slip on banana peels and stare at a picture of Candy Kong. Your precious banana horde and all the other Kongs have vanished. I can't find them anywhere. DK, you'd better go and tell Cranky the bad news. Yeah, we should go ahead and do what Squawk says. Let's go visit Cranky Kong. Anyway, DK controls pretty well, and while you're running forward, if you press the Z button immediately followed by B, he goes into his classic rolling attack. And apparently in this game, Cranky Kong is a mad scientist. Now, this is weird. Right here, Cranky Kong refers to DK as his son, but in the previous games and all of the games following this, Donkey Kong is referred to as his grandson, so I don't know what they were doing here. Anyway, Cranky Kong's purpose in this game is to provide you with potions, which give you different skills and abilities. So, he'll give us one here, but before doing that, he's going to make us go through his training barrels, which is pretty much just four tutorials that we have to go through on uh, the basic functions and controls of the game. They're short, they're simple. Unfortunately, they are mandatory, so we gotta do that. What did Cranky mean about training? Donkey all confused. Yeah, I think that this is the game where we firmly establish that Donkey Kong is a moron. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and roll over here real fast. I find rolling to be a little bit faster. I won't always do it. Anyway, first up is a swimming tutorial. Actually, this game handles swimming in 3D pretty well. You didn't find that too often on the Nintendo 64. Anyway, fairly easy. All you have to do to dive is press the Z button. And once we're underwater, we can either hold down the A button to swim quickly or we can hold down the B button in order to swim slowly, which allows us to maneuver a little bit better. We can also hold our position underwater by holding down the Z button. Only thing we need to do here is we got 60 seconds to just dive down to the bottom and grab this single coin. Next up is a tutorial on how to throw oranges, which in this game act like grenades. Yeah, Donkey Kong gets munitions in this game. Anyway, all we have to do to pass this tutorial is pick up and throw five oranges. So let's just go ahead and pick them up, and then we can throw them by holding down the Z button and pressing C right. And that's all there is to it. We'll be using those to take out some, uh, heavy enemies, like clumps. And next up, we have a tutorial on a classic Donkey Kong maneuver, picking up and throwing barrels. Pretty easy. Walk up to the barrel and pick it up with the B button, and then press B again to throw it. And all we have to do is throw these five barrels, and we're done with the tutorial. Don't duck. Why did I do that? Okay, and two, and three, and you got plenty of time, so feel free to get used to the controls, you know, the control stick and everything, acclimatize yourself. 60 seconds, plenty of time. And I don't know if they explained it, but that little backflip I just did, you can do uh, the same way you do a backflip in Super Mario 64. Hold down the Z button, press the A button, and it lets you reach higher places. And here we have a tutorial on yet another classic Donkey Kong maneuver, swinging from vines. And all we have to do is climb up this tree and grab a vine by jumping onto it. And when we're on it, we can actually switch directions back and forth by pressing the by pressing the R button. And we can drop directly down by pressing the Z button, just like you see in the text there. So let's go ahead and climb up the tree. Once again, plenty of time. Don't rush. Don't... Oh, God. Okay. Let's screw up on the tutorial, Mike. Good, good. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to run into that problem an awful lot. I seem to have issues with my depth perception in this game, and that seems to be mainly due to the fact that the lighting in this game sometimes makes it impossible to see your character's drop shadow. And unfortunately, this is something that kind of plagues me throughout the entire game, so I just kind of have to adapt and overcome anyway. With all four training barrels out of the way, let's return to Cranky and see what kind of potion he has for us. And apparently he is sampling some himself. Hmm. You took your time, donkey. Jungle rest setting in, did it? Drink this. And we get our first power-up. Simeon Slam, or Buttis Bashium, if you want to go with the Roadrunner Greek term. Right, you and your missing buddies will be able to slam the ground by pressing A to jump, and then Z whilst, whilst huh, in the air. It should get you out of this area. Oh, one more thing. I've got a real treat for you, but only if you bring me 15 banana medals. I think they look like this. I'll see you later if you're lucky. So yeah, it's pretty much a ground pound, and we'll mostly be using that to activate certain switches. Uh, for right now, we can only activate switches which are green, and you can only activate switches with a corresponding Kong's face. So if you see one with Diddy Kong's face on it, you can't do it with Donkey Kong. Anyway, just wanted to go back there to grab those three yellow coins right there. And you may have seen that patch of dirt that said DK on it. There's nothing we can do about that right now, but rest assured we will be returning here to handle that. And just a real quick detour, if we swing across these vines, we can enter the cave where Donkey Kong's banana horde used to be. I just wanted to show it off real quick to confirm that yes, indeed, they are all gone except for a few peels. And there's another patch of DK dirt right there. 
Um, that's, I don't know exactly what to call it. D I would just call it DK Dirt. Either way, they're kind of important, or at the very least, very helpful to hunt those things down. So we'll be coming back for those. And something about DK's walk cycle bugs me in this game. He walks like Bluto from Popeye, which is weird since he moved more like an ape in the previous Donkey Kong Country games. Anyway, as you saw right there, yeah, it's a green switch with DK's face on it. Uh, there's blue ones and red ones later on, but we'll need to power up the Simeon Slam in order to use those. He's back! DK, King K. Rule's Island is just over there! He must be the one who stole your bananas and kidnapped the other Kongs. I've taken a quick look around, but the only area that hasn't been blocked off is that island with a cave on it over there. Yeah, the text is a little slow. So yeah, that's the first and only area that we can go into right now. Find a similar numbered pad in the same area and press Z to banana port between the two. It's teleport. You don't have to put the word banana. It's not even clever. Whatever. We have banana porters here. And if you activate one and then find the matching number, then you'll have a way to teleport between the two matching pads by standing on them and pressing the Z button. There we go. So now we can just teleport back to the number one. <laughs> oh, hi. My name's K. Lumsey, and I've been locked in here because I wouldn't smash up some little island. But how could I? Such lovely little island full of cute monkeys. So I said no. K. Rule says I'm too soft to be a Krebling, and I'm to stay in here until I've toughened up. I'll do anything to be free again. Hey, little monkey. Perhaps you could help poor old K. Lumsey escape? Oh, go on. I'll be your bestest friend. Um, maybe if you called me an ape instead of monkey? Thank you. There's a difference. Yes, donkey will help K. Lumsey. And he's so happy that he jumps up and down and causes an earthquake. And the shaking is so massive that he shatters this big rock right here opening up our path to the first area in the game, and also uncovers our first golden banana. Oh, K. Lumsey's so happy now that K. Rule has taken the keys to this cage and given them to the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army. If you manage to get hold of any keys, please bring them back here to open my locks. Don't tell K. Rule, though. This has to be our little secret. So there you go. Keys! We need keys to unlock those locks on K. Lumsey's cage. They're one of the many MacGuffins that we need to progress because we need to get keys from bosses in each area to bring back here so we can make him do his happy dance and shake the whole island to make it fall apart and unlock new areas. Anyway, here is our first golden banana, another very important MacGuffin in the game. It's not enough to simply have K. Lumsey do his happy dance in order to unlock the path to the new levels. The levels themselves are actually behind a paywall in the form of this guy, B. Locker. You see he has a number one on him. That means we need one golden banana, which we have, in order to move him out of the way so we can get on with the game. Uh, I think 100 are required in order to get to the final area of the game, but there are actually 201 golden bananas in the game. We will be going after all of them. And over here we have the spirit of Wrinkly Kong, who has since died. I don't know why she died before Cranky, since we established in DKC3 that she's the one that is healthy and works out. But anyway, uh, she gives us hints as to where each of the golden bananas are in each area, so we won't be using her all that often. I just wanted to show her off. But with that done, we are going to use our one golden banana in order to move B Locker out of the way so we can get on with the first proper level of the game, Jungle Japes. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, 
thank you for watching that LP show and have a one that is good.